Hi there, well it's that time again when I need to stop my regals and today we're going to have a little look at that. Um, I'll try and guide you through what I do. I mean you can do this as well for just shaping up your regal plants and cutting them back a bit, ready to flower in the early summer of next year. Um, so let's have a look. Now one of the key things to stopping plants is that I'm doing this on a really lovely bright airy day. So you need to have your greenhouse windows open uh, to get lots of air around these stems once, we, once we've cut them. That's one of the key things. Now the, the thing that you will notice about this plant is that it's very limp. Uh, and the reason it's limp is because it's virtually bone dry. I want this to be very dry, particularly when you're doing this in the winter. Now, generally, as everybody knows, I stop my regals in this mid-winter period. Many of those for show will be stopping at around 18, 19 weeks, which is actually sort of late February. But I find, I think it's primarily because I go a little bit deeper in the cutting. I have to stop mine now in late December. Uh, but that's what I do. Um, I've got used to the timing as it flows over the times, uh, over the years. Uh, but it's only the regals that it affects. doesn't affect the zonals that I stop for showing. Uh, but realistically, um, you can do this for either um, exhibition purposes or stopping also for... Uh, growing on in the early summer period to get your blooms just coming at that nice time uh, when you can get your plants, start to look to get your plants outside, uh, say in the UK climate in the uh, say late May, early June. What I'm going to do here, the first thing I've got to try and do is sort of get to a basic shape. Now here, in here, we can almost certainly see a, an inner stem break can shoot out. So I'm going to make my first stop there. Uh, I've cleaned my knife very well. And there's my first uh, stop. Bucket over. I uh, may just need to tidy that marginally. And so there's my first cut. I've got a marginally botrytis type leaf there, so I certainly need to get that off. I mean, it's a good time as well when I'm doing it in this midwinter period. It's also a bit of a clean up time. I really do need to get a lot of these leaves off as well because, because they've got so dense, uh, they have started to pick up a little bit of botrytis. Uh, regals in general don't suffer too much from botrytis. But because um, they've been so dense with a lot of leaf, a few of them have picked up a bit of botrytis because we've had this very, very wet winter period um, in the UK this year. Right, well, I've got one there that I'm going to stop just there. I mean, in the end, it's just a balancing act to make your plant look a nice... Uh, ball shape, certainly from, e from exhibition, but it's no harm to, uh, to do this as well for any plants that you may have that you're just going to have in the garden. Get a good shape on them. As a very small new shoot taken from my late summer stop. I'll just uh, leave that alone. Now this stem just here really shows you how you can do the stopping. Um, now I'm just for ease of purposes going to take that leaf off. Now you can see here we've got a really nice long stem. Now for exhibition you can do one of sort of several things. On this stem this shows exactly how it can work. You can either do a really tip top tip stop and I'm really exaggerating that because you can go into the very tip of the stem and just literally nip that out and that will then allow breaks all the way down. Um, or you can cut back further depending on the size of your plant and depending how, how sort of compact in a way you want to keep it. If it was a smaller plant, for instance, 
I would almost certainly just do tip stops. But because this is quite a large plant, I'm going to go back to about halfway along this stem and take it out about there. There we are. And the reason I've done that is because I'm going to balance it all off to be about the same length as that stem. Primarily because this has got very, very, very big, this plant. And it would be to just do a tip stop on that particular one. The plant would be absolutely huge come uh, the show time. And it would almost be too big. You wouldn't be able to transport it. It would become so big and so flaccid. It wouldn't be tight enough to make a good plant. So that's the reasoning behind the fact that I go a little bit deeper. And that almost certainly is the reason why I do it at this earlier stage. I'm at something like 24, 26 weeks. I haven't even calculated it actually. But that's why I'm doing it now because more often than not, I go back quite hard uh, as opposed to just doing a little tip stop, which at 18, 19 weeks would almost certainly be okay. Right, so I've got another long one here, which I'm going to almost certainly take back quite far. I've got some small ones. Now, where you have got smaller ones, you can just do the tip stops. They can just be nipped out. I've just nipped into the leaf. Don't ever let a leaf hang. If you've nipped into another leaf, it won't hurt to take them off. Some of them, now it doesn't hurt. If you want to just say, do a bit of a tip stop at this stage and then review your plant when you've done them all, then you can take them back a bit further. That's not a problem. You can easily do it that way. See, now that really was just a tip stop. That is literally just a tip that's come out of that one because it was a small stem that hasn't grown much from the big stop that I did in the late summer. So it hasn't gone too far. It's amazing actually how some seem to go much farther than others. If you see a bit of botrytis on the leaves in regals, it can sometimes mean that you've got a bit of white fly on them. So it's important to get rid of those and have a look at some of the leaves to see if the leaves above those have actually got some white fly on. Uh, but it's important to strip those leaves off. Now the other key thing to ensure is that you actually do stop all of the, uh, the tips uh, or the stems, uh, regardless of where you're doing, unless they are these very, very teeny tiny ones, which I spoke about earlier. Uh, so otherwise you'll get stems growing out all over the place. Okay, so I'm beginning to see, now that I've stripped back a fair number of these leaves, I can actually begin to see the shape of the plant. But the one thing that this will do is it will enable you to get the plant through the winter much easier. So I'm just looking down now, seeing that it's nice and round. I mean, the other thing, of course, that this does do is it's now going to let a lot more light into the base of this plant and of course we are now thankfully past the shortest day so the daylight the day time the dates so the daylight is going to start getting more from now on so we're getting some light down into there as well so that's what we call a really good cleanup that's great all fine not too wayward get rid of that leaf now the other thing as well, of course, is that these are not going to need any uh, watering at all, uh, probably for a, about a week. So there we are, that's just about done now. Now realistically, all we're doing really is sort of, you know, cutting down a bit, tidying up, getting rid of a lot of the leaves, because we want light now to get down into this plant. Just see another dead stem there. Eh? These are, bit, these, are, these are really hard and dry, so they're not rotten. Uh, they've been dead for probably quite some time. Um, it's amazing what, what a sort of cut back and a stop back reveals. I mean, the overarching you know, scenario is, is that it's better for your plants to come a bit earlier and remove bloom rather than them all to come late 
and you you're not you're stuck with a plant that you really can't use uh, or it may present itself as a lovely plant a bit later but um, which in itself is not a is not a problem now you can do this of course say at this time of year if you've got plants sort of tucked away uh, you want to give them a bit of a shape up it's exactly the same scenario but if you want to get a nice ball I know people always want to tr perhaps try and achieve what I try and achieve with my regals um, to get a ball that's what we got to do you're just shaping down to get all of the lengths of the stems the same uh, so you're going to create this nice ball shape just make sure you keep your plants turned to keep them in good shape but this has been cut back quite hard now but it's got you know the best part of half a year to uh, to form into a really good regal plant uh, but that's fine let that heal thoroughly i may water it in perhaps about four or five days time when it's had a really good chance to dry off okay so there we are that's what i do to my regals uh, this time of year i'll be doing the rest of them over the next week realistically in the meantime, I have to first of all put out a slight apology because I didn't wish everybody in my last video a, a Merry Christmas. So I hope you had a very good time. Um, but it's just before New Year now. So really enjoy having a, a good celebration, I think, of getting rid of 2020. Uh, and we can only hope that 2021 um, comes a bit better and enables us to get back to a bit more of the freedoms that we like to have with our lives. So have a very happy new year and I'll see you again very soon.